the type of, of, of interventions that must be made will depend not only on the PEC. The PEC will have to come up and giving that specific leadership. Each branch, sub-region, and regional structure basically differs. differs. But there is a broad uh, approach to make sure that we bring people on board, that they are still part and know and understand that they are part of the African National Congress. That they are not outside, there's not another ANC when you have a disagreement about certain processes. And that is important. So that will be the refrain, refrain and that will also be the marching orders. I'm quite sure that the, that the chain and our first PEC, uh, where we will then develop something and put it forward to, to, uh, to all our structures. Noting for one, that is the officials, we will also only be meeting on Wednesday. Two, the, uh, thereafter, the PEC will then have to meet and there are certain decisions that we will then have to take and then a much clearer program surely will be developed and will be cascaded into our structures at this particular point in time. Well, for more on this, we crossed our reporter, Iviwe Porti. She joins us from East London. Iviwe, good afternoon to you. Give us a recap as to what came out of that briefing and the reply from the respondents. Well, definitely, Natasha, I think most important coming out of the briefing and as well as from today is that the ANC definitely seeks to work on finding more unity within the Eastern Cape. If I can just take you back a little in terms of how important it is for the ANC to actually regain and regroup themselves in the Eastern Cape, this is the region, um, the province where the ANC through the municipal elections actually lost a very major key role municipality that being the Nelson Mandela Bay municipality uh, to a coalition government led by the Democratic Alliance we have seen opposition parties here in the province actually gaining more momentum and numbers so I think most importantly the leaders reiterating that they need to find unity they need to restore the ANC and as well as build those relations a bit stronger with disgruntled members as well, not only from this conference, but um, from the press briefing we had yesterday with the new chairperson Oscar Mabiane saying, dating all the way back to 2011, even 2008, that people are still upset in terms of leaders that were elected, the processing of electing leaders, and that most importantly in the ANC they needed to find ways where when your term has come to an end uh, you you kind of leave uh, in, a, in an orderly fashion and where those laymen the people at the bottom in the ANC whom are voting for leaders don't feel obliged to be voting for certain individuals or to keep a certain structure of leadership in order for the ANC to seem as if it is going forward however also opening that you know everyone in the ANC is allowed to have an opinion and they're also allowed to to um, disagree uh, with other people within the ANC. However, they are trying to move away from sorting their problems through uh, court applications and as well as violence, which we have seen over the weekend and has unfortunately been a grey cloud over the conference held here in the Eastern Cape. If you were, and with two months to go before the NEC, I mean, they've got their work cut out for them in terms of building that unity and moving away from, from court applications, don't they? They do. They have, uh, well, from the ground as a journalist, it seems like, you know, uh, every time that there is maybe uh, uncertainty or discomfort or disagreement that people are now going to head to the courts. And that's what Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa was alluding to yesterday when he was here addressing those that were still part of the conference, saying that, you know, the ANC needed to find structures to sort their problems internally. And also that people who have left the ANC need to understand that the door will always be open for them to come home. Leading towards the end of the year, the NEC does have a lot of work to do in terms of re uh, restoring trust and restoring relations with those disgruntled members. However, in this press briefing that we just came from now, Helen Sol's August saying that that is definitely high on the cards for the new PEC in the Eastern Cape to work on those relations. Uh, the doors open and they are definitely looking forward to restoring those relations. And however, though, if there are any challenges that will still go through court applications post this one, they will still be ready with their legal representation. All right, Eviwe, thanks so much for that. We'll leave it there for now. Our Eviwe Porti live from East London.